This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCG code cards. They are compatible with TCG Live and you can of course get everything on the website for 5% off using the coupon code ZAPDOISTCG. This video is also sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to uh, buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and you can do it as well. And you can use the referral name ZAPDOISTCG to help support the channel. This video is also sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. Uh, this is a platform where you're able to, of course, create your own custom playmat. They have, of course, uh, capabilities to ship worldwide and you can get 10% off by clicking the link down below. So definitely check it out. Last but not least is Dragon Shield, the best brand to protect your beautiful cards you can of course uh yeah there's links down below for us and european people and you can of course get your best quality uh, sleeves uh, available as well as deck boxes and binders thanks so much for sticking around with the commercials i hope you enjoyed today's upload if you do be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button and uh, yeah let's get this video going What's up YouTube, it's Zandu's TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG uploads so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. In this video we're going to be counting down the top 10 most important slash impactful cards that we will lose with the rotation 2024. Rotation will happen just before EOIC so in the beginning of April we'll instantly feel the competitive scene with rotation so that means a lot of competitive, competitive cards from battle styles. Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies, Celebrations, and even Fusion Strike will leave the format. So uh, some people will be very sad that stuff like Mew V Max is gone. Other people will be delighted that the format is going to be uh, refreshed uh, once again because a lot of crucial cards will be rotating. And in this video, we're going to be counting them all down. First of all, we're going to be counting down the uh, cards. Uh, let, let's say honorable mentions that just barely didn't uh, take the cut. is like Echoing Horn here from the... Chilling Rain set actually saw play in a whole plethora of decks, uh, whether it's Mew V Max, uh, Rapid Strike, Urshifu decks, even decks like Sable Zard used to play an Echoing Horn, but most importantly Snorlax Block. So we will lose the Echoing Horn, so that's an honorable mention right there from the Chilling Rain set. Another one from Chilling Rain, Clara, saw a lot of play in uh, the Lost Box decks, but uh, it actually will be rotating. We still have other answers, we still have Super Rod, there's still Tilup for uh, yeah, Psychic type stuff, Tilup can also get back uh, stuff like Sableye and the Energy. So uh, not the worst loss we've seen, but I uh, still want to get a couple of these uh, honorable mentions out of the way. Cross Switcher might be kind of a huge deal in uh, stuff like the Chimpow decks. I love playing Cross Switchers here because it was searchable with Irida. You can also find a piece with Mew from Celebration. So Cross Switcher will be gone, but we will be getting Prime Catcher as an Ace Pack card very shortly. So it's also only an honorable mention. Uh, there's also Kyogre from Celebrations, which by itself... First of all, I thought this was a bulk card, but uh, people have, uh, yeah, with Pokestop and the Lost Box engine, proved that Kyogre with Aquastorm is a real force to be reckoned with. I put it in the honorable mention because there are way more important cards that we're going to be losing uh, in this rotation. Then there's also the Raihan card from Evolving Skies, and uh, yeah, that's actually... Uh, a really cool card that saw play in like Arceus decks, it saw play in Sablezar decks, it actually saw play even in uh, Lost Box decks that used the, the Raihan to fetch out the Mirage Gate and stuff. So the deck, uh, all the decks that re required Raihan to work out will actually miss that card a little bit because it fetched out any card from the deck if a Pokemon got knocked out during the opponent's last turn. So that's a, a plethora of honorable mentions, so without further ado, let me present my personal top 10 cards that we're going to be losing with rotation and as mentioned all of these that will rotate and uh, we will actually lose uh, a lot of impactful cards that will make deck building really really interesting so uh, let's get this show on the road if you guys are enjoying the content let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button helps out in many ways to support the channel so with that being said let's take a look at the number 10 fog crystal Fog Crystal is one of those cards, just like cards like Netball and stuff that are very, uh, really specific for specific uh, energy types of decks. Like in this situation, you can get a Psychic Energy card or a basic Pokemon, uh, Psychic Pokemon that is. So you have a little bit of uh, flexibility, which is super nice. We did see this working out like uh, in the past with Shadow Rider decks. We did see it working out, uh, most importantly, with Gardevoir. You can find a Ralts, you can find uh, a Mew, you can find uh, a Zacian V. All those like things also, now that I think about it, Zacian V should also kind of be an honorable 
Honorable Mention, but without, yeah, we still already have replacements for that, and uh, most Gardevoir lists are not even playing it in the first place uh, and in the new age, so it's fine. With that being said, uh, this Fog Crystal card is a super uh, flexible card for Psychic Dax, and it will be missed, mark my word. So that could be like, now you're gonna have to rely on Nazball and Ultra Ball to, uh, as your main primary search options, and this was way more flexible. With that being said, number 9, Evolving Skies with Flaffy and the Dino Motor, oh boy, Maridon players really will have to uh, up their energy count so they uh, high roll a little bit uh, better because if they whiff on energies with electric generator they will really feel that in the mid to late game because with Flaffy's Dynamotor you could accelerate a, a lightning energy. On top of that, Raihan also rotates, so without Raihan, without Flaffy, getting energies, uh, lightning energies in play will be really hard. Maybe we, people will go YOLO mode with the energy sticker and uh, resort to maybe the turbo build with 18 energy, so you, your generators will hit way more often. But yeah, Flaffy will definitely be missed here on the number 9 spot. Number 8, Celebration Set with Mew. This this Mew with Mysterious Tail, I have fond memories of this Mew because uh, I played this uh, during the days that Beedrill was still a thing, also Beedrill rotates, uh, also cool honorable mention, but yeah, uh, Mysterious Tail uh, allows you to look at the top 6 cards of your deck, get an item card you find there and put it in your hand. Who remembers like Jirachi from Team Up, which actually was able to fetch out supporters and all that stuff as well. So there's a little bit of a uh, downsized Jirachi and it was still so good, it saw playing Gardevoir, it saw play in a whole lot of decks, this Mew, even in Charizard more recently, being able to fetch out rare candy was important also you could be playing this in a chimp out to fetch a cross switcher here and there i played this in my chimp out at one point so uh mew from celebrations such a great card also in the early game it helped you to find vip passes so uh mew from celebrations here sliding in on the number eight spot move right now on to number seven Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. This card actually dominated when it first uh, was re released in Battle Styles. We even played some online tournaments uh, uh, with Players Cup. I don't know if people remember that, but Urshifu will finally be gone. Also, the Single Strike variant when, uh, also goes away. Uh, but I want to be cheating a little bit in that regard. I'm going to be putting three cards on the number seven spot, and it's, they're all impactful in their own right. G Max, Rapid Flow, Rapid Strike, Urshifu V Max. Then there is Intalion V Max with the Double Gunner as well as Metacham. All of them uh, are like combined into a deck, even Octillery rotates, but the entire Rapid Strike package is gone. So uh, I put them all together here on the number seven spot. It is not like a tier S deck, but it was still a tier 1.5 deck out there, and uh, it actually saw a lot of results, uh, even won uh, internationals here and there. So uh, I think uh, Rap Strike Box actually was so good during its lifespan and uh, it will be missed here. Uh, number, number, seven, number 7 spot is actually an entire archetype. Rap Strike Box. Number 6, Escape Rope. People don't believe me but uh, Escape Rope has the E-regulation mark. If you don't know what the rotation is, all the cards with an E-regulation mark get rotated out and it's gonna be F onwards. So uh, uh, interesting to see that Escape Rope has that E-regulation mark. Will it get reprinted in Scarlet and Violet 5 in that uh, set that comes out? Was it in uh, March or... Yeah, in March, end of March. Who knows, but for now, in, uh, from all the information we have, Escape Rope will rotate and Escape Rope sees play and a lot of decks. Think about Movie Max, think about uh, sometimes the one of in Charizard, think about uh, it was also one of in Urshi Intel, four of in uh, stuff like Lost Box as in uh, natural counters to stuff like Klefki. This will have a little bit of an, uh, a mark on the format because now you can actually slow down Lost Box archetypes by just having Klefki. They no longer have Escape Rope as a natural uh, counter against it, so uh, having Klefki will slow down the flower selectings, get by you a lot of time. So this is actually a huge one. I put it here on the number six spot because I'm convinced that Escape Rope will uh, be a, an interesting way. Now the only way to uh, do some stuff like, oh, is he gonna be moving our Pokemon out the active? You could do it with the Iron Bundle, but that requires a little bit of work and also you need Super Raw to have multiple uses of it. Then there is uh, the Gardevoir, sliding it on the number five. Gardevoir Shining Arcana from the Chilling Rain set. What can we say about Gardevoir? Shining Arcana was so good, ever since Reversal Energy came out, like the Gardevoir EX deck really took off, it was so strong, we had Reversal Energy, we, we have Counter Catcher, Iono, uh, there's so many great things, and Shining Arcana is also additional draw power, and uh, evolves up your refinement, Curly, most importantly, so they have more HP. 
So uh, yeah, with this being gone, Garvar will have to go back to the drawing board, maybe think about Drifloons, think about uh, more screen tails, more tool cards to help them out with their HP department. But yeah, this is uh, kind of uh, insane. A Garvar, Shining Arcana is now gone. Uh, actually not now, but yeah, will be gone with rotation. Sliding here on the number fifth spot. And I also want to note here is that uh, Curlia with Mirage Tap will also uh, move along with that. And uh, no longer, if you say, oh no, there's a couple of Ralts prize. It's going to be a very tough game. Well, I can always rely on Mirage Tap. Well, that's where you're wrong. So the Garvar deck, I don't know if it's going to be tier one any longer because it loses all its uh, integral pieces in the Garvar line. Then number four, Mew Max. Yes. Mu V Max, the archetype by itself. Why didn't I put this higher? People say like, why do I not put Mu V Max higher up on the list? The reason for that is that it actually is not the best performing deck right now. It is hard countered by Charizard. We have Drapion in the format. We have Spiritomb in the format. There are a lot of ways you can deal with this deck, but this much is true. It won the world championships. It dominated the scene ever since Fusion Strike came out with the Meloetta, with the Fusion Energy, with all that. Uh, the deck is uh, gonna be rotating. Uh, pe some people are glad, some people are uh, very sad. Let me know in the comments how you feel about uh, Mew Max rotating. I really wanna know uh, your opinion about this, but uh, I'm also gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna be uh, throwing Genesect in that uh, uh, fourth slot as well. Mew Max and Genesect uh, both rotate, and I think Genesect V was one of the strongest draw powers I have ever seen. I've been playing for 12 years, and uh, yeah, mind this, Fusion Strike System it is so bonkers. It draws cards equal to the amount of Fusion Strike Pokemon you have in play. And you can do that for every Genesect. So the draw power of the Genesect was insane. You could draw half of your deck turn one. And that's why I think this draw power will definitely be missed in the game. Things will slow down a lot because there's going to be a lot of decks rotating. A lot of uh, draw powers gone. Mew from Celebrations gone. And uh, there's way more that we're losing. So uh, stick around, guys. So uh, here we go. Number three. The top three. Can you guess it? It is Level Ball. Level ball, 90 HP Pokemon or less can be uh, fetched from the deck instantly. This is a card that uh, is uh, on top of Nazball. Uh, yeah, a free search. Getting out your basics, getting out your rolls, your Charmanders, your PGs, uh, you name it. Uh, level ball will be gone and that's going to be a huge deal because uh, now decks will be running for Nazball for Ultra Ball again. And I don't know if a lot of decks can afford to discard uh, a lot of cards from hand that Ultra Ball uh, comes with a downside, right? So uh, we also don't have Fall Crystal, we don't have Level Ball, but we're also going to be losing some more Pokemon, uh, yeah, fetch engines, or you say Pokemon, uh, yeah, uh, you can find from the deck. So these cards uh, will truly be missed. Level Ball, Fog Crystals, these cards, but there's a way, uh, there's one more important card that is going to be making deck building, uh, thinking, uh, thinking about it way harder. Then, number, also now that I think about Level Ball, can also fetch out evolutions, by the way, so you could also fetch stuff like, for instance, Curlias, you could fetch uh, stuff like Charmeleon with 90 HP, so Level Ball, very good card. Then, number two. Chilling Rain comes with the path to the peak. This is the strongest stadium uh, around, let's be honest. It actually was also future proof because it states Pokemon with rule box in play have no ability. So they were also preparing for new, newer uh, Pokemon rule box, uh, Pokemon like EX Pokemon, for example. So nothing has abilities. Uh, Tandem unit, forget about it with the Maridon EX. Genesec with draw power, Fusion Strike system, forget about it. Uh, oh, you want to be using Psychic Braids of Gardevoir EX? Too bad. I, I, I you know you with the path to the peak. So. Such a strong stadium, even Radiant Pokemon had abilities, actually has rule boxes, which meant you can shut down a Radiant Greninja with this. You pretty much shut down everything uh, that was very popular and Path to the Peak will truly be missed. And now abilities, Pokemon decks with abilities will go rampant. Uh, if we don't have a way to shut down the abilities, I think the only thing that could shut down like uh, stuff like, uh, I would say, Squackability and stuff is stuff like, for instance, uh, a Klefki. So uh, we will maybe see an increase in people playing Klefki. Escape Rope is also gone, but Path to the Peak, such a strong stadium. Uh, it has actually won so many games because, oh no, I'm Path Locked. Ah, oh, so it's too bad. Okay, now number one, Battle VIP Pass from the Fusion Strike system. So, uh, yeah, what can I say? All the decks that I know of, that I've played, played VIP Pass. I've played Chimpao, 4 VIP Pass. I've played Roaring Moon, 4 VIP Pass. I've played so many decks with 4 VIP Pass. I've played some, a little bit of Lost Box, 4 VIP Pass. This deck was, uh, actually this card was so insane. All the top decks played 4 off, most of them. You're playing Charizard, 4 VIP Pass. Oh, uh, which deck is that? Is that Mew Max? Oh, 4 VIP Pass for you. Oh, you are playing uh, Rapid Strike Intelligence, oh, 4 VIP Pass. Lost Box, 4 VIP Pass. Oh, oh you're playing... Um, 
Lost on Giratina, you get four VIP pass. Chimpa, four VIP pass. The only uh, like deck that actually didn't play VIP pass was uh, Maridon decks because they had built in VIP pass through the means of the tandem unit ability. But yeah, can you imagine a world where you're making a deck and there's no VIP pass in it? That's gonna be crazy. So in my opinion, this is the most impactful card that we're losing with the rotation 2024. So well, yeah, that's my opinion. Well, how do you feel about all these cards that will rotate? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Did I uh, forget a card? Is there a card more impa impactful than the cards I just uh, mentioned here? Let me know as well down below. Will you put a card higher? I also wanna know that. And uh, yeah, thanks again to my sponsors for today's video. Go check them out. Uh, Potownstore.com, the best place for TCG live code cards. You can use the coupon ZAPBLUISTCG for 5% off. There is Dragon Shield for your sleeves, binders and deck boxes. Link down below. You can use coupon ZABLUS5 to get 5% off on Dragon Shield product. There's yourplaymat.com to create your own custom playmat. It's a new year, so create yourself a new playmat. New year, new playmat. That's what we're saying here. And uh, you can uh, yeah, upload your favorite wallpaper, yeah, create your own unique design. It's going to be fantastic. And they uh, ship worldwide and you can get 10% off. So definitely check it out. Then last but not least, cardmarket.com, the website for uh, European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Use the referral name ZABLOSTCG. And with that, uh, we will leave you guys. And uh, it's going to be a very impactful rotation because how do we make decks for Nazbol for Ultra Ball? Is that going to be the, the new standard? We're going to have to figure it out. Also, now that I think about it, I might make some new videos about uh, cards that could replace uh, certain cards that are rotating. So that's also something to look forward to. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys uh, yeah, soon with more Pokemon TCG content. Peace.